Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and to all of my new viewers, welcome. Thanks for choosing to watch my channel today. And to all of my subbies, welcome back thanks for rocking with me you guys so i just sounded like Tarshel just now <laughs> so before i get into what i'm doing which is a little obvious i want to take the time since this is the last week of this reading plan that lisa and i um created i want to take the time again to publicly thank lisa mac for doing this reading plan with me her and I have been talking about doing a collab um, for a while, ever since we kind of became friends through this planning community. And she just kept saying, let me know what you want to do. Um, so God had placed it on my heart to do a reading plan because since both of us use faith planners, I wanted to be faith related. So God put on my heart to do a reading plan for February. When I told her what God said to me, she said God spoke that same thing to her and she was on board. So I want to publicly thank Lisa Mack of Planning and Praying for believing in me, even though we've never met each other face to face, but believing in me and her heart and her spirit was connected with mine. And she was like, let's, let's do this, let's do this, sis. Um, and it just means, it means the world to me. If I don't do another collaboration, this collaboration has meant so much to me because it shows how a total stranger can love me so much and be willing to put her name with my name to do something um, that our desire was to draw people closer to God so they can find out what God's love is and what God's love is is towards them so thank you lisa thank you thank you thank you and to everyone that has been posting and following the plan and tagging us i am so overjoyed um y'all really made february a true month of love um and i just thank y'all and with that it has sparked a fire within lisa and i we do want to do more we don't have a specific date or a specific plan in mind because we are spirit filled and driven. So we want God to, we want it to be authentic. We don't want to just be producing stuff to produce stuff. So we do want to be, um, in a place where we can do more plans. Um, and again, thank you. I'm so filled right now. I'm kind of speechless, but I want to thank y'all. I really want to thank y'all because it means so much to me to be able to spread the love of God and God's word and for you all to have just um, leaned in and clinged on this scripture plan. It has been awesome. Um, so as you know, this is the last week um, and we got a little thing, a, a couple of things that we're going to do this last week of this reading plan. So you do need to make sure you're following Lisa and myself on social media because we will be now announcing when we are going to go live and maybe possibly a giveaway um at the end um and so to be a part of the giveaway make sure y'all keep tagging us tagging us tagging us so we can um you know figure out what we got good for y'all at the end of this plan so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is get set up in my faith planner and i use this faith planner um to write my scriptures and to do my reading plan now i also use it to kind of document any prayers and things like that so i don't typically like to show after the pen because it's you know it's personal to me so i'm all i'm only going to always show how i set it up um and the reason being is a lot of faith planners like decorations and then i have a lot of new faith planners that are following me so i want to show you ways to decorate your planner but to still give you enough space to write what you need so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so what I will be using in this week's plan with me, I will be using this kit that comes from Print, Pray, Slay. 
and this is a printable on her website at print praiselay.com you guys know i gotta say it slow because it's almost like a tongue twister to me um i won't be using all of these um, but i do have this printed on clear avery paper and if you want to see what paper i use just make sure you watch the video all the way through because i will um, show you the paper that i use to print on um, and so i'll probably just be using some of these smaller flowers and um, maybe a few of these little snowflakes and things like that. I definitely want to get to use this before the spring comes. I cannot wait. Um, but this kit is called Knit in Me. And it is based on some scriptures in the Bible that are talking about being knitted together. Um, being, you know, knitted in God's image. Um, so this is a really, really cute reading plan. And these colors are speaking to me. And they kind of match the hearts that are on the reading plan and I will also be using this new washi that I got from the pink room co um, I figured this would be super gorgeous with this um, and I'll make sure I leave the links to both of these shops in my description box and then what I did because um, I did this the week before last I printed out my scriptures somebody asked me where did I get my scriptures I just used my word document picked my font um, and then printed it. Yes, it's a waste of paper, but I can recycle. That's why I put it over here. Um, that way, all I have, to, I can just refeed this in where I still have this part to use. So all I do is pick my font. Um, this week, I decided to go with the color that's in this kit. Last time, I did black. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and get straight into planning. So I decided to edit through the whiting out in the land of the washi because it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, because that particular shade did not match with the um, colors I was using, I just decided to white them out and put um, washi over top of it. Um, now what I'm doing now is just cutting out the scriptures that I printed on the um, label paper. Um, and because it's not I don't have a silhouette or a circuit to cut. I just cut it out and then put like a slit in the back of the sticker so I can peel it off. Um, and I have you have to be very careful because it is thin, so you don't want to cut too deep and then you'll split the sticker in half. Um, so all I'm gonna do now is just lay these out for each day of the week. Now this is the second time I'm using a printable kit. Um, I was very reluctant about doing this because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I don't cut them right? But this fuzzy cutting um, technique, you just kind of trim around the stickers and lay them out um, like you would do any other spread. Um, it's really easy and it's also calming. Um, just cutting them out and just looking to see where I want to put them um, is very peaceful. 
Um, and while I'm doing this, I just want to point out, um, as you can see, I'm having to pull up wash it and cut it out. And that's all a part of the creative process. Don't get upset if you have to pull stuff out. Um, and one thing about Happy Planner paper, when you land your stickers, it's easy to remove those things. But if for some reason your stickers can't come up, undo works perfect. I used it for the first time last week and I love it. Um, but back to this kit. Um, like I said, this is the first time I'm using it. So I decided this time, instead of using the fuzzy cut with the scissors, I would just use my X-Acto knife and it made it so much easier. And that way I don't have to cut up the paper um, as much. Um, so I think I might try it this way um, more often. Again, you wanna make sure you don't press down too hard when you're using your X-Acto knife to cut around the stickers. But in my opinion, it makes it a lot easier, um, less mess um, with having all the little paper trimmings all over the place. These flowers really took me back to when I first started planning. I was a flower cutting, layering fool when I first started planning. And I absolutely missed it. So I was glad when I saw that this particular kit had flowers in it. And I was a little bit nervous because again, this is um, like the clear frosted sticker sheets. And it is a lot thinner than um, regular sticker paper like if you buy the stickers already printed but um, it still peels up easily and it cuts and it lays perfectly um, so what I'm doing right now is just covering this box and because it's kind of dark I did have to go and white it out and you guys you know I'm really trying to um, I don't know, just be able to function with this planner um, I love the horizontal layout when I'm doing my faith planning, but I just don't like when it's a lot of color because it's hard to cover up sometimes. Um, so as you can see, I just took the tip of my X-Acto knife and got that white out off because it was kind of peeking out of the sticker. So now to lay this beautiful washi that is from the Pink Room Company. And this washi is absolutely gorgeous. It adds that little bit of oomph to this spread. So while I started to add these flowers, I decided to take this little tree branch thingy off um, because you could see the white out too much. So um, I just simply went back, touched up the white out, and I decided to use the girl sticker. I'm holding the coffee because y'all know I love me some coffee. Um, and again, I'm using uh, my exacto knife to cut around. Um, that works better for me. Um, like I said, most people do the, and I guess this is still considered fussy cutting, but I'm just using an exacto knife instead of scissors. Um, if that is some, if it's called something different, y'all let me know because I'm all about using the right terminology. Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread and I am absolutely in love with it. Um, so as I said throughout the video, um, this week is not a full week of scripture writing. So you can kind of actually play with your stickers and your decorations a little bit more on the, depending on what type of planner you have, but if you have a book style, um, like this where you have two sides you can do more heavy deco on the right side of the week because this is the week of March that'll be coming in 
on Friday and the scripture plan ends on Thursday. But um, what I will suggest that you do with this side, um, since you don't have actual scriptures to write, um, you can probably use this side to put your reflections, um, what you learned about God's love for you on this um, part, or you can write any type of revelation that God gave you throughout this reading plan, kind of like a summarization of how this reading plan has added on to your life um, and how it's shown you um, what love is really supposed to be about. So you can use this as maybe like your reflection page, um, whatever you want to do for. I'm just giving you some suggestions <laughs> because a lot of times when you do have reading plans that don't last um, all the way to the, you know, rolling over to the next month, you kind of like, well, what I'm going to put over here? And I don't really, I mean, you can if you want to. I don't suggest that you just clutter it up with stickers, but you definitely can dress it up a little bit more than you would on the side that you have to write. Now, of course, if I don't have to fill this part up, I may go back through and add some stickers. And what I'll probably do, um, this last week probably won't be super personal. So just so, so you can see how I fill in my pages after I write in them. That's if I have some space. You can kind of see how you just go and add your deco day by day. So on Monday, when I read John 5, 9 through 10, if I have some extra space, I might add more of this washi right here. Or I might add more of this washi. Or I might add some other stickers. It just depends. I mean, because this printable had a lot of stickers to add on to it. So I hope you guys liked this plan with me. I hope it was not only um, informative, but I hopefully, hopefully it also inspired you to, you know, not be afraid to be creative in your faith planner. Um, especially if you like to decorate a lot because you can do borders you can do a lot and i can't stop staring at this spread because the colors are like yummy to me like yummy yummy <laughs> y'all don't judge me y'all know i'm silly but anyway um please 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 um make sure you um continue to follow myself and lisa mac um not only just for faith related videos we do a lot of other videos um in our travels notebook our classic um, and as well, prayerfully, we'll have another reading plan coming your way sooner than later. And as promised, this is the sticker paper that I use. Um, this is by Avery and it is the clear label sheets. It's the eight and a half by 11 and it's the full shipping labels. Um, and if you shop by item number is 8665. Um, and you get 25 sheets. Uh, and if you're doing printables, you get a lot of stickers, you know, on the sheet. I still have stickers left over that I probably will use in my Bible journaling because I do plan on starting to Bible journal again in March. I have a lot of things that I'm adding on to my um, channel for March. Um, some stuff I'm bringing back, some old things. And then other things are going to be new. So I hope y'all continue to, you know, rock with your girl. Um, continue to, you know, drop me some comments and some feedback. Um, because I love to try to make sure that I am providing content that you all are actually gaining from. Um, and, you know, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm just like in like, oh. <laughs> like, I don't even want to write in this. Like, I want... It's this um, young lady that's been tagging us in these amazing spreads. I wish I had her name off the top of my head. If I think about it, I'll add her Instagram link into the um, description box. But if I can have her handwriting, I would write in this. Like, I don't even want to write in it. I really don't. <laughs> I'm going to have to be very, very, very slow in my writing. When I write slow, I write neat. But when I write fast, I'll be like, look like chicken scratch. Anyway, you guys, so make sure you check out the description box. I will leave the link for Print, Pray, Slay, as well as the link for this beautiful washi that came from the Pink Paper Co. 
And as well, I'll try to remember to use leave the young lady's name so you can follow her and look at her amazing spreads that she did doing this whole reading plan. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And so you never miss a new video or my Sunday live streams, make sure you click that notification bell so you'll always be notified when I upload videos. And also make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plans. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.